100 years ago, when the IHO was created, its mission was to help make navigation safer. It promoted uniformity in the thousands of paper charts covering navigable waters across the globe. In the 1980s, the IHO developed a worldwide standard, the INT chart series. This ensured that when mariners navigated around the world, they could easily switch from a chart from one national hydrographic office to the next and understand the colors, symbols and texts which were standardized. In the 1990s, this concept was extended to digital maps. National hydrographic offices, in collaboration with the shipping industry and technical suppliers, managed this evolution under the coordination of the IHO. In the 2000s, nautical charts and related information, such as radar and automatic identification systems, became digitally integrated and were used by all vessels on international voyages. But the IHO did not stop there. In order for marine data gathered from around the world to be used by all ocean stakeholders, the IHO is helping to increase their digital uniformity with the S100 Universal Data Model. This framework provides standards and formats for data from a variety of disciplines. This means data can easily be shared among ocean branches, marine traffic and harbour operations, coastal development and ocean sciences. It can also be meshed and displayed together, providing a complete picture of what is at sea. The S100 framework has the potential to bridge hydrography and oceanography in order to build a fully digital marine data ecosystem, the digital twin of the ocean. Hydrographic technology is becoming smarter. With up-to-date data, ships can calculate the fastest, safest or most efficient route for a voyage. These technological advances will also pave the way for autonomous shipping. The ocean is crucial for the livelihoods of millions of people around the world. Marine data can be used by coastal states to make informed decisions and can contribute to the sustainable use of the seas. With the development of hydrographic technology, the use of marine data is increasing. We are expanding from what does the seafloor look like to what is in the water, a concept we could call spatial hydrography. From nautical charts to all ocean data, the IHO's voyage continues.